Hello and welcome to History Her Story and Mud Flood Stuff. Today's hot topic is one that is rocking the world, today we will be discussing the mud flood. Touching down on Titania, giants, antique technology, and unraveling the truth out of a big web of lies. If this sounds like your cup of tea, please join me for Tartania in 10. The Mud Flood Number 1 It seems there was a cataclysmic event that took place sometime between 1800 to 1850. This event has been obscured in history books and is seldom mentioned or investigated. That is until recently. People that are seeking the truth are sharing their findings and presenting some very good theories as to what may have happened. We will look into this topic and I will share my investigative research with you. I hope you shall like and subscribe to keep interesting videos like this coming in your feed. Please share your thoughts in the comment box below. I am in no way saying that I have the answer to these perplexing questions. I am sharing my thoughts and mean no offense to anyone. Look closely at the old photographs. We see muddy roads with supreme buildings. Built out cities with empty muddy streets. We see little people with giant buildings and muddy streets. Sometimes they are digging out structures they are always dressed so impractically also. That must be why they look so confused. And I have also seen them digging out railroads. Why is it so muddy? If they could build those buildings, why couldn't they build better roads? Or better vehicles? They still were traveling by horse and buggy and had wooden wheels. This does not make a lot of sense. Let's take a look at these old buildings. See the windows that have been buried by mud. And doors below street level, they were not built this way on purpose. Why do you think they ended up in this condition? Remember this is a worldwide phenomenon. It cannot be chalked up to a local event. The same thing we see in America we see in China, India, Europe, literally everywhere. Research done in Russia really brought this topic to the forefront of our little community. Please leave your thoughts in the comment box. Amazing structures and hidden technology lie beneath the mud. To this day. And is being revealed to us more and more. Some say the spell or delusion we have been under is breaking. Put on us by the evil Kabbalah or even alien reptilian plans for our demise. I don't know what I think but the research is leading to the Tartarian nation. Let me digress for just a moment. The Tartanians may have actually had another name, but we have categorized the ancient civilization under this banner. There are many old maps that show great lands portioned to the Tartarian. It seems this was a global people who are large, elegant, incredibly smart, builders and architects, mathematicians and artists. Finally clothed, it seems they lived in peace and prosperity. Represented by the griffin and the owl flags, from what I can tell. If you have more information about these Nobel people, please leave me a note in the comment box. The builders of that age left their structures as proof of their advanced civilization. What happened exactly? We can only speculate. Some thoughts I have heard on the matter are as follows. The great cataclysmic event called the mud flood was preceded by another cataclysmic event that caused what we refer to as melted and burned buildings. This may have been a plasmic event caused by magic, technology, or perhaps the creator. Maybe it was Armageddon? Maybe we are living in that crazy time after the 1,000-year reign of Christ that was given to Satan for a season? Who really knows? Maybe this advanced people scurried underground and build their civilization under the earth. Maybe they cloned humans? I don't know. What do you think? Maybe they built civilization back up and things were grand until the mud flood took it all away. Maybe they were giants and hijacked our DNA to keep the human population going. Like we do with animals that are going extinct. Maybe they farmed us and the first generation is what we call the inheritors. 
maybe they inherited a very muddy world to begin the reset of the world. There is plenty of evidence concerning giants that lived on this planet. The Bible calls them men of renown. The Smithsonian is quick to rid the investigator of evidence by collecting the bones, but we have photos and giant belongings like guns and books. So maybe they taught the reset race how to live, I don't know if they think we are doing a very good job, it seems like a reset could be coming soon. It seems these giant people were part of our human experience until about a hundred years ago. Maybe we killed them off. Maybe they went to other land. Maybe there is an inner earth after all. What are your thoughts concerning giants? I just hope ITS okay for the big fellows. Don't you? I wonder where they are now, so many questions, so few answers. Thanks for joining me. You mean the world to me. See you next video.